EMS Station 10 occupies a building across the street from Metropolitan Hospital. When Hurricane Sandy came through, the building got flooded out and everybody had to evacuate. After that, Metropolitan Hospital abandoned the entire building and cut all utilities to the building. Two issues we had after this Hurricane Sandy was having no control of any of the comfort cooling in the building and acoustical issues with the ductwork that was installed afterwards. Since there was a very big need for EMS 10 to be in this building, they pursued a project of gut renovating the entire building. In the process, they installed ductwork, which created even more issues with the acoustics of the air handling, created even more issues with the air handling system of the building. Subsequently, we had to come in and come up with a control solution for comfort cooling as well as the acoustics. We had to slow down the fan in order to keep the system quiet and basically build a control system from scratch. When we started putting the control system together, we contacted an outside vendor to give us a quote on the control system. The price came back way too high, and on top of that, we were going to have to have them come and service the equipment because we didn't have the training or the equipment to do so. So we went ahead and we decided to start building our own control system from scratch, which was going to help us control the building and also handle the acoustic issue with the ductwork that was installed here previously. This project came up at a really good time because I was just finishing up EOC 1 and this actually wound up being my capstone project for the class. Basically we got the, uh, the screen saver here and then uh, you can see exactly what the system is doing, fan speed, what our outputs are doing, what's active, what's inactive, control for bringing the temperature up and down, real simple, nobody has to mess with anything, you're not switching from heat to cool, it does everything automatically, you just set it for the temperature you want, it's going to maintain it. Alright, basically there's very few parts to the system, you've got the PLC, you're looking at like $139, each one of the input and output modules is maybe $75, power supply for $50, some relays that are real cheap, the screen comes in at $500, some wires, wire ducts, very, very low budget project. We installed the VFD here to try and take down the, the fan speed. At the same time, we're saving like 30 to 40 percent on the electricity that these things use. Now that we've had the system installed for seven or eight months, we've gone back and looked at the energy usage for the building. And as far as comfort cooling goes, we're using 30 to 40 percent less energy than we were before. Actually, the, the big boss is Joe Massapietro. And he came down here with the union to see what the issues were with the building before they occupied it. And then they uh, contacted John to come up with a control solution. And that's when we went over to the vendor to see how much they wanted for all the parts to do the job. And on top of how expensive the parts were, that we weren't going to be able to afford to have somebody come out here and service it all the time. So John Stanley decided that we were going to try and do something ourselves. And that's when I contacted Tarek. And he was able to kind of push me in the right direction as far as getting the vendors and getting all the material I needed to do the job. It was really a no-brainer for the job because of how much money we were going to save, how, how quickly we were going to save money. Uh, as opposed to spending $10,000 to get a control system in here, we did the same exact job, more comfortable, more energy efficient for $2,000, and we eliminate all the service calls from an outside company. We're able to do all of that work ourselves which is a huge positive. And especially now that we've done this one project, we can implement this in a bunch of different places using the same kind of layout. So every time a technician goes to the job, they're extremely familiar with what's going on, extremely familiar with the equipment. And it's gonna cut down our time on calls because of that.